Many a times while creating a page in Visual Builder application, your customer might ask you to create a functionality within the page wherein the user will be able to preview the file right from the screen. So in this sample application page, what I have done is I am listing the attachments which are available for the activities that is for the sales in Fusion Cloud application. Here I will get the list of all the documents which are available for a particular activity. I can download the file or the attachment by clicking on the hyperlink over here. When I click on download, it will download the file. In this case, it has downloaded the PDF file, which is the simple PDF file or the dummy file which I have uploaded for that particular activity. Now, if the customer asks me to develop a preview option, wherein by clicking on a hyperlink, instead of downloading the file to a computer, they will be able to view the file. Then if they are satisfied with the document, they can download the file to the computer. So if this is your requirement, then let's see how to do the same with the help of Visual Builder application. I have built this Oracle Visual Builder application page, wherein I have dropped the table component over here. We have already seen in detail how to work with the table component in Visual Builder application in our earlier classes. I won't go deep into this concept. Here what I'm doing is I'm populating the table with the REST API or with the help of the quick start over here, which makes use of a service connection and it makes use of this get all activities attachment in order to list the details of all the attachments available for that particular activity. So here we will be having an option to get the file name. We will be having a title, description, so and so forth things. As of now, I'm just displaying here the document ID title and the file name out of this response. Then I have created this download link with the help of which we will be able to download any file. So this we have already covered in our earlier classes. I won't touch this concept in this class. Then here I have dropped the preview icon by clicking on which what I'm first of all doing is I am making use of an event. Let me show you the action chain over here. I will click on this. First action over here is to get the document ID. Every document which has been attached to a particular activity will get a document ID. So if I show you the response, this will be under the href, under the link. So this is the document ID which I'm trying to extract. So for this purpose, I have created the JavaScript function over here that is get attached document ID. So I'm just getting the document ID after this child slash attachment. So this is the first thing in our action chain. Let me just go back to this action chain. Next is we have to call the REST API in order to download the file contents of that particular activity attachment. I'm making use of this REST API that is get an activity attachment. For all those things, I have already created the service connection over here with the help of backend. So you can do the same things. I'm just showing the REST API documentation from this page that is from the Oracle's documentation. So with the help of this, I will be getting the file content that is in the base 64. Now, in order to display in the page, I will be needing the blog. So in order to do that, I have created the JavaScript function, which will convert the base 64 content of the file into the blog. And with this, I'm creating a URL for that blog so that I can view in the screen. Now coming to the most important question, how I am displaying this in the preview in this page that is over here. So for that purpose, we have to make use of the HTML's object tag with the help of which we will be able to show the details on the screen. Like here, if I show you the W3Schools documentation page for objects tag, here we can show the JPEG that is the object tag is having a data attribute within which we have to populate the data. In this data field in our Visual Builder application, if I show you in the code view, here I have pasted this object tag within this div segment. In the data, what I'm doing is I'm populating this variable data. So this variable data I'm populating over here after this all function. So here what I'm doing is I'm populating this file body for preview with the response of this JavaScript function. So this JavaScript function is nothing but it will generate the URL for us. That is for the blog content. So with the help of which we will be able to show the details. Here I have restricted the height and the width so that it is restricting over here. If you want to occupy this document preview to entire screen, then you can make it 100%. So it will occupy the entire screen. So with the help of this object tag, we will be able to preview the details on the screen itself. So user don't have to download the file, then view the details. So here coming to the W3 schools, we can show the JPEG, we can show the HTML file, even we can show the MP3. Let me just preview this. Here it is showing the video over here. Suppose if you want to show the video in your Visual Builder application page, like if you want to embed something in your page, like the YouTube video and all, you can do it with this method. But the best practices you have to obviously use, that is in order to embed a picture, it is always recommended to use the image tag. In order to embed the HTML, it is always good to use the iframe. We have already seen how to use iframe and embed the Google Maps into our application. In order to embed the video and audio, we can make use of the dedicated attributes for that. 
So like this, we can preview the document in our Visual Builder application page by making use of object tag.